It's the early morning gray line and I'm on one of my favorite beaches in the world. I'm on the Outer Banks of North Carolina and I'm going to be using the JPC-12 antenna system. We're going to put it up as the gray line comes across here and see what we can do with it. Stick around. And here's the setup as the sun's about to rise. It'll be a beautiful day. Um, as you know, the uh, JPC-12 comes as a nice kit with a spike, a hub to uh, hook the at the ground to hook up the coax, and then it has four basically uh, pieces of uh, barb that goes below the coil, and then the uh, telescopic whip above the coil. Also comes with uh, a nice ribbon, as you can see ribbon wire counterpoise that you can shred apart and turn this into you know four five six different pieces of counterpoise on it i'm just going to use it with one a little rough today down there i wanted to get close and get that wire counterpoise maybe as close to salt water as possible probably not going to happen today because uh a little rough and i want to use this again and experiment with just that one counterpoise so we're going to do that today because of that i'm using a 50 foot of coax and i'm putting the choke back over here by the radio and using the uh, Zygu G90 uh, with the choke of that in, I'm figuring the uh, the coax here maybe a little bit of help with the counterpoise of this. I've seen some uh, some things, some videos where people say the counterpoise helps it greatly. It's hard to tune. I've learned a lot of lessons from my friend Morton, LB0FI. I'll put a link to his last. He's done three videos on this. His last one was a really good one. And I think I learned a lot from that. So some of those lessons learned from his video, I'm going to uh, put in the put the work this morning. But for right now, I got it fully extended. Looks like we're going to be uh, starting. We'll try to start on 40. That's why I got out of here so early, thinking 40 meters might still have some uh, DX activity. I don't know, but if you can see, it's tuned down right now. I'll check the SWR, but it looks like we'll start at 40. The thing with this is you can. The lower line there, 40. The upper one should be about 20. But uh, that's it. Let's get on the air and see how this thing works. Okay, 40 meters with it uh, set right right at the red line there at the bottom of the coil. Pretty, pretty sweet SWR. Let's see if we can make a 40 meter contact here before the sun rises. Kilo the Omic Net looking uh, for additional check-ins. Come now. Kilo four Oscar Golf Oscar. Additional check-ins for the Omic Net. Come now. Kilowatt four Oscar Golf Oscar. Okay, I heard something about that again. Kilowatt four. Question mark again, please. K four O G O. Anyone else copy him? Yeah, that was Kilo Golf, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar, OGO calling you. Okay. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar. Okay, I don't have a good copy on you. Uh, what's the name there, sir? Over? Hey, yeah, the name is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I'm actually portable out on the beach on the Outer Banks of North Carolina with some low power, 20 watts. Um, probably why you're not uh, catching me there. Uh, thanks for that relay there. If you don't mind that relay, can I get your QTH? Okay, uh, I think you said you're on the Outer Banks there. Uh, we've, uh, we've, <laughs> we've been through that stretch. That's an interesting, uh, interesting area. I still don't have a good copy on you, though. Uh, hopefully you've got enough time to, uh, to hang with us. I'm sure uh, conditions will uh, improve. Well, that's about all I want to spend on 40. I want to work some DX, and uh, being down here on the beach, the money at this time in the morning is 20 meters, so uh, hopefully, uh, I believe the, uh, the uh, muff, the maximum usable frequency here has reached uh, 15, uh, so we should be good on 20. I'm going to go tune this thing up for 20 now and see how it goes. It was interesting just to see uh, where I would go there with 40. I am not much of a 40 meter guy, especially here on the beach. That's uh, kind of more of a, a in Invis or, or a nighttime band or, or really something local for POTA here. When you're on the beach, for me, it's 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10, and that's where we're going next. Stick around. 
All right, got it moved up to 20. Man, there's a fog coming in too. Getting kind of gloomy. Sun's kind of disappeared on me there. So uh, let's go check SWR now that I've got it up at the uh, the line for 20 meters to see if we got to make any adjustments. The fog is absolutely rolling in from the Atlantic Ocean this morning. And my guy's out here getting it done. Hi, baby. <laughs> Awesome. And as you can see, wow, perfect SWR, 20 meters with the line there. Now guys, I know I'm by the salt water and my ground plane is incredible and that really is affecting the uh, SWR for sure. But uh, here we go. Let's go see what's happening on 20 meters. We CQ IPA contest, CQ International Police Association contest from Delta Lima 1, Echo, Echo November. Kilo for Oscar, Golf Oscar. There was a very weak station, try again. Kilo for Oscar, Golf Oscar. So at the moment I have Kua Norway. I have Kua Norway and Kua uh, Mike. Uh, so uh, try again. Kilowatt for Oscar, Golf Oscar. Oh, that's two weeks. That's two weeks. Uh, I will listen one small patch of words. Kilo four, Oscar, golf, Oscar, portable. Kilo four, Oscar, question mark. Kilo four, Oscar, question mark. Please again. Kilo four, Oscar, Germany, Oscar. Kilo four, Oscar, golf, Oscar. Kilo four, Oscar, question mark. Please try again. Kilo four, Oscar. Golf Oscar. Kilo for Alpha. Kilo for Ocean. Germany Ocean. K4 O G O. Kilo for Oscar. Golf Oscar. Is that Roger? Roger, 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 Roger. I'm portable. 20 watts on the beach in North Carolina. You are 5'5. Five, five. Good signal, good audio. 5'5 five, five here. Your number is zero, zero, 001 for me. Well, as you can see, a little bit of a struggle. I'm not used to that. Usually, even with 20 watts here on the beach, being right here by the salt water, I'm pounding through. I'm not having the issues that I'm having this morning with this antenna. I don't want to blame it on the antenna yet. I want to play around with it a little bit more. It might be band conditions, but um, I'm hearing other people uh, making some decent contacts here. Maybe uh, maybe it's, I need to get down by the salt water to get a better ground plane. Maybe that's what's going on here. It's tuning well. I did uh, hit the ATU on that. that was, I noticed as I was... Uh, as I was transmitting, you know, the SWR was bumping up there a little bit. So just to give that a little extra match there, I hit the ATU. But um, yeah, it seems to be a little bit of a struggle. Let's keep going. Okay, I'm hearing some activity on uh, 17 here. So I'm gonna give this a shot. Um, with 17, all I did, telescopic whip, fully extended. I just removed the coil, that's all. So this thing completely extended um, with all of the uh, bottom parts on and the telescopic whip all the way up should be 17 Let's go check SWR and see if we can uh, make some contacts here on 17 And actually that's decent SWR not perfect, but decent looks to be about 1.3 to 1 1.2 to 1 is what it's saying It's up there a little bit. I'll, uh, I'll go with that and uh, I'll probably just use the tuner and bring it down to a, a great match. But we could operate just like this, I'm sure. Let's see if we can get something on 17 here. Uh, the conditions this morning have not been great, but maybe we'll make a contact. CQ, CQ, CQ 17, Jesus or Mike Chippen, CQ 17 and standing by. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar. North America. Cheese or Mike, Chip and Sugar Calling. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Well, everybody has one of those days. It seems to be one of those days for me, which uh, I don't have too often here on the beach. Kind of a shame to... Uh, that I've wasted a morning that I could probably be like really plucking some great DX. I don't know. Once again, I hate to blame it on the antenna, but I don't think this is the antenna for uh, for the beach for me right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
and put it up in the different configurations and check SWR on um, 15, 12, and 10. I don't have a six meter rig with me. I'll just check those out to see how that does real quick. And, um, and then maybe, just maybe make a contact here or there, but uh, not having a lot of success with this antenna here on the beach. Okay, for 15 meters, all I did was remove one of the aluminum rods at the bottom. So there you go. One, two, three of the aluminum parts at the bottom. Telescopic whip fully extended. This should be 15 meters. Let's go check SWR. Okay, that's a respectable SWR as well and usable. Um, not bad, 1.3 to 1, 1 1.4 to 1. Very usable as well. Let's uh, let's check it out. I don't think we're going to do anything. We've been struggling all morning 15. We'll give it a shot, see if anything's going on here. Echo India 2, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. 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 Wow. No one can hear me. I can hear them. They just can't hear me. It's a shame. And here's the uh, configuration for 12 meters. Just all but one aluminum rod at the bottom removed. Just one, one aluminum part at the bottom. Telescopic whip fully extended. This should be usable for 12 meters. Let's check SWR. And there you go. A pretty good SWR. Uh, it says 1.2 in the midpoint there. Uh, probably about 1.3 to 1, somewhere in there, 1.4 to 1. It's kind of jumping up a little bit, but uh, very usable and very, uh, very usable SWR. Well, I'm a glutton for punishment. Let's go see what, what's going on on the band, if anything at all. CQ, CQ, yes. This is Echo Alpha 7, Julia Whiskey Foster. This is Echo America 7, Japan Whiskey Florida. Looking for the S station. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. QDS, this is Echo Alpha 7, Julia Whiskey Foster. This is Echo America 7, Japan Whiskey Florida. Looking for the S station. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. the uh, configuration for 10 meters just take that bottom aluminum section also no sections on the bottom no coils just a telescopic whip fully extended which is pretty much just a quarter wavelength for 10 meters so there you go it's uh, on the hub let's give this a check out and see how, how the SWR is and there you go pretty much a perfect SWR on 10 meters so uh not bad. This this antenna tunes well. It really does. I'm uh, I'm I'm happy with the way it tunes every band. Really easy. Just take parts off and keep rolling. So uh, that is a positive side of this antenna. Well, ten meters is uh, it's open. A lot going on. I'll spare you the uh, the suspense. No, I cannot make contacts here. I've tried. I gave it a try, but uh. Yeah, 10 meters, that's not happening as far as, as a good receive, but uh, I'm not getting out on 10 either. Well, I think I solved some of the problems people have of tuning this thing. Uh, that was pretty easy to tune. Um, as far as uh, performance, I'm not really happy with it. I'm not going to say it's a bad antenna yet. I'm going to give it one more try in a different situation. Maybe go somewhere and spread the... Uh, the uh, ground plane out rip that uh, ribbon 
tape apart a ribbon wire apart and make a, a true ground plane on it if it doesn't perform here though that's there's something really up there um i don't know i'll give it one shot maybe i'll take it down the harbor and uh dip the uh old counterpoise there let it taste the salt water a little bit and make try to make some contacts there like i said i love how the size portability is pretty cool it was not hard to tune at all as a lot of people have trouble with that but um thankfully uh my friend morton lb0 fi made all the uh went through all the heartache of that and figured it out and i uh, was able to do what he did and, uh, and tune it well um did make one dx contact there on 20 but uh yeah this was a rather frustrating morning of portable but that's uh hey that's what you get with me it's going to be real <laughs> we'll be real with you right now um kind of see how things go before you purchase one of these there's some guys out there who's had some luck with them i've had uh, luck with a lot of antennas right here this very spot this antenna is not one of them so who knows um could just be a bad day a conditions it's not a conditions day though you could hear and i heard so many other people out there which is strange for me when i'm on the beach if i hear them i usually can get through with them through to them even with low power anyway thanks for watching guys um that's my experience with the jpc 12 antenna um if you enjoy antennas ham radio mostly ssb voice type stuff that's what i like to do by uh, learning a little cw and may, may get into that world a little bit in the future but if you like that kind of stuff Please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO73, my friends. Hope to see you soon.